So what am I going to talk about today? Well, I'm going to talk about these Chinese tablets that have Windows 10. Now this particular tablet, which is the Cube iWork, is a two-in-one where it has an Android and a Windows 10 operating system. So some of these cheaper tablets from China have keyboards and some don't have keyboards, but you can purchase them separately. Well, most of them have these uh, touchpads, and on the touchpads, they have gesture control. Well, the problem with that is there's no driver for this touchpad, so you cannot modify or turn off the gesture control, and basically, it really, really hurts Windows 10 because you cannot control the gesture control. Well, let me show you the things that I found and I'm going to show you something really exciting that I found that you might be able to use. So, let's get to the monitor. Alright, so let me start off to show you what I tried. I went to Google and I typed in generic touchpad driver for Windows 10 and so I was trying different drivers and nothing worked at all so I abandoned that idea and you know the board said ah, try this generic driver try that generic driver nothing worked so the next thing I googled was I went to I typed in Chewy touchpad driver now why did I pick Chewy as the name well I think Chewy is the most popular Chinese tablet out there where you know I bought the cube I work but anyway going through these forums something interesting popped up and what it was was it was a program called auto hotkey so with the forums they were talking about auto hotkey now Basically what AutoHotKey is, it writes a script and what you do, what AutoHotKey is, kind of, let me see if I can explain this. So you install AutoHotKey and you have two programs. One is AutoHotKey that makes an AHK file, which is how you write the script. The second program is it creates an EXE file of the same file you created and you put that into, and this is kind of where people are saying put it under C users program startup or program startup. But anyway, supposedly when you reboot the computer, that exe file is supposed to start up in the background. Well, I have been dealing with this for months and months and I have got nothing to work. Look, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. So... For me, I was just not getting anything to work. So let me show you what an AHK file looks like. Okay, so here is one example of the AHK file, which is, which is open in Notepad. So it's supposed to, supposedly, if you see, if you see um, these, this part, where the gestures would be stopped. And so, you know, I didn't just create these gestures. What, what it was, was when I went into these forums, people already wrote the script. And man, I've tried all of them. And I just had zero success. So, me, I am very relentless. I do not stop. This has been months and months of trying to fix this stupid gesture for the touchpad. And what I finally found, something very interesting, and it is called, and I found this in a forum, and I'll leave the link in the description. And this person, who's called Like Cyber, right here, what he did was he used auto, let me find it right here, 
So he is auto hotkey, and it's right here. Whoops, it's right here. Auto hotkey, and he created this executable file that creates this new program called Touchpad Helper version 1.1. So, as you can see, let me move this down. I, don't, I think, um, hang on. As you can see, it can enable gestures, enable pinch to zoom, which is what I hate, so you can disable it and enable reverse scrolling so it's the reverse of what a normal gesture would be. So, you know, I am, uh, I am not nervous about viruses or anything like that because I can just reformat my computer and um, reinstall whatever I need to do. So, I caution anybody to download any file off the internet. So make sure your virus is up to date, make sure your software is up to date because when you look at some of these posts, um, like let me see, I think it was page two where they said, oh, this is a virus or something. Um, anyway, you can read all the posts if you'd like. So basically, I downloaded it. I installed it and guess what it fixed my problem the gestures this touchpad helper needs to be loaded up before you touch the touchpad because it's it's enabled until this program comes into play now some people might say it's very risky me hey it's just a Chinese tablet doesn't matter to me either way. I've had zero problems with this program. If you feel risky, try it. If you've had this problem with the touchpad gestures with the Chinese keypads. And let me show you what it looks like on my touchpad. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about, like the pinch to zoom, which is my most hated gesture so let's see here so if you do this you could see how the icons increase i'm trying to hold it up so you can see both things at the same time you can see how it got really small sorry guys it's really hard to do maybe i will uh yeah you can see how it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and there's other gestures this is just one of them that I really dislike. So let me show you what it looks like without it. I'll do it so you can see it. So the pinch to zoom as you can see is no longer active. You can see nothing's happening. I'm trying to pinch to zoom and all other gestures have been disabled. So now it's made it a very working PC before I could couldn't even use this keyboard or I had to totally turn off the trackpad but I mean I can like click on something say oh I don't know Google Chrome and I can double click and it'll open up and I can pick to minimize I can pick to move it around so everything else works so the pick enter and the moving around all works with this new program so subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.